Eat more! Forever eat food, Duzan. He seems to just like chocolate. He's also now almost entirely full. And his familiarity has barely changed at all. Although I'm not entirely sure what familiarity does yet. There's a quest here. Hello! Enthusiasm. I like those quests. Those are easy quests. Yes, yes. Especially since there's a dude. Well, it's not a dude at all. There's a woman over here who may or may not have enthusiasm. My, what a beautiful cape. Ventic is awesome, number one. Okay. We're doing something fancy in the chat, apparently. Yes, I know the locket's glowing. I was wondering if I could borrow some of your enthusiasm. Take heart. Take all of her heart. Don't leave one ounce of it behind, and then take all of her goods and make a new cape. We like new capes. Yes, yes. Enthusiasm. Yay. I like how you take her enthusiasm, and now she's more enthusiastic. I'm not entirely sure how that works. No, no, no. Uh, give heart. Give. Enthusiasm. <laughs> Nido. He says Nido way too often. Three blindness be gone and two stamps. I was more interested in the two stamps, quite frankly. You received two merit stamps. Woo! You are a character. I know that much already. She's a party member. I got my eye on you, woman. Excuse me, are you Mr. Rashad? Yes, I am. Mr. Rashad, sir, I need you to teach me magic. I need you to teach me the most powerful spells there are, so I can defeat Shadar. Defeat Shadar? You? Yes, sir. Your journey has been wasted. I no longer practice the magic arts. Huh? But why not? I thought you were one of the four great sages who knows everything there is to know about magic. It matters not what I was. I use magic no more. Is she... What do you want? Who are you? Cheevers. The poor thing's broken hearted, looks like. <sighs> Shudar stole a piece of her heart. It was my fault. I defied him, and to punish me, he did this. That is why I fight no longer. I cannot risk my child's life. I will not. We must accept our fate and live out our days in peace. Mr. Rashad, sir, you're wrong. She wouldn't want this. <clears throat> She's not in pain because a piece of her heart was stolen. It's because you gave up fighting. Because you gave up on everything. That's why she's in pain. Hmm. You are sure of this? Yes, I am. 
I see. I see now that you would say anything to enlist my aid. Huh? Be gone! You're making a mistake. I wasn't trying to. Isn't he supposed well, to be a great wrong. mage? It looks like Shadar's stolen a part of the poor Dab's heart. Then we have to help her. Why doesn't he know give her? We have to make her heart whole again. Nah, looks like I said this is different. Huh? Her heart's not just broken, it's closed. Closed? What does that mean? It's like hmm. this, see? She's not just had a part of her heart stolen, she's closed it up tight too, to keep the rest safe like. So, before we can think about replacing what's missing, we'll have to open it back up again, innit? And how do we do that? We go to your world. If we find whoever she's connected to by there, we can work out what's going on with her by here. So, we head over you away and find her soulmate. Alright, let's do it. Right, though, back to your world it is. Got it the first time. Thank you for reiterating. Let me open the magic. Thank you. Who could she be in Motor Town, Motorville, Motor Dirt, the Great Motor College? Mm, what about what was her name? Starry Mary or something? He's Welsh. That's how he says your. That could be a candidate. Girls? I don't talk to girls. Oliver, you're bad at this. I'm going with Mary. Starry Mary. The game says this way. If it's actually Starry Mary, I get, like, bonus plus ten points. That's how this works. It's a point-based system. I just had a thought. You should stop doing that, Oliver. You having a nice time thinking about girls. Well, mm, we know it's on Drippy's mind all the time now. Real life needs a heads-up display. Literally just 24-7 she stands in that window, apparently. Honestly, I think Oliver has, like, some sort of mental problem. He doesn't seem to quite understand things. Spot a speck of dust on the head of a pin. That's quite the eyesight. Let's go break into her house and ask her questions. He's not six. I don't know how old he is, but still, he, there's no reason for that kind of stupidity, let's be honest. Some level of naivety is... I'm not entirely sure that's actually how that's pronounced. It's fine, but let's be honest, man. When you have to, like pound things into his head 17 times in the span of five minutes. There's a bit of a problem. Just break the door in. Hello? Yes! Say yes, Oliver. The answer is always yes. Apparently he's 13. Such a shame. Such a shame. Shame. 
do ignore me, dear. I'm just a silly old woman. He's a bit big to look like an eight-year-old. We have to help her. You say you're gonna magic the lock open and essentially break into this family's home at the young age of 13. Without a scale, he looks like an eight-year-old. He's standing next to a house that has a chair, some plants, and a mailbox. That seems like a pretty good scale to me. I mean, it's a rocking chair. They're all made essentially the same size. Steps are all essentially the same size. In fact, I think steps may all be the same size. It's a standardized step height. Spring lock. What is what kind of noise is Drippy making? Also appears to be freaking out in the background. We'll have to find some other way that apparently doesn't involve that house at all. Look at the dog! Dog, 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 dog. Oh, I wanted to go talk to the dog. Hello, goodbye. Oliver, stop going insane, man. Okay. I'm aware I have to go in there. Is there something else you want to tell me? Oh, okay, that, oh, right, whatever. Yeah, Oliver, think of the damsel in distress, jeez. Keep up. Who are you? My name's Oliver. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. I'm a kid from right here in Motorville, just like you. I know. I've seen you. You have? I'm sick. I can't leave this room. Oliver, you're an idiot. If I go outside, it hurts. So all I can do is look out at the world from my window. That's why they call us Steady Mary. Shh! Don't worry, man. No one can hear me but you. I can talk as loud as I want! Yes. That's why they call me Staring Mary. Huh? Tricky! Can she hear me? That's what they call me around here. But you knew that already, huh? Uh, uh, I... I bet you think I'm weird, don't you? No, I, I don't. It's okay. I don't mind. You should go before my father comes home. Uh... Oi, come here a sec. This is proper weird. I've looked as hard as I know how, but she doesn't seem sick at all. She's as fit as a fiddle, in fact. You mean, you can tell? I'm Lord High Lord of the Fairies, and I, of course I can tell. So what is wrong with her? Well, whatever sickness she had might be gone, but something still got a hold over the poor dam. Hmm. What is it? Oh. Um, nothing. I'm gonna come see you again. Okay, Myrtle? Huh? Well, if you can't leave your room, I'll come to you instead. That way we can be friends. How does that sound? Oliver... You can't. Huh? My father won't allow it. You should leave. But Myrtle...
the Lord High Lord of the Fairies is responsible for setting up the redundancy part department of redundancy. Yeah, we already broke into their house, so may as well get into their family squabbles, man. Rusty shop. Sign me up right after I wipe off my glasses really quick. There we go. Now with more visibility. Woo. And I'm assuming Rusty's shop is the car shop down here. Rusty's Auto Repair. Would you stop telling me about the feelings in your lantern? It's awkward, man. Look at him, man. He's glowing purple. Either he smells really bad or he's evil. I told you, he either smells bad or he's evil. Hello? Look, he's even got red eyes, man. He's the definition of evil. And he doesn't eat sandwiches. It's like 10 evil points if you don't eat sandwiches. Yeah, it looks a little angry. Maybe we should leave, you idiots. Hi, Glob. Well, that's the thing that just occurred. I told you we should have left. Now he threw us out. Look what happened. You idiots couldn't just leave, no. Had to stand there and gossip. Look at his eyes. He's got chameleon eyes. I wonder if he's actually a chameleon. Mm. Help him by beating him up. Alright, well... I'm not at full health or full MP, because I wasn't anticipating a boss fight, so I'm sure this will go well. He's dropping purple orbs everywhere. What did the purple orbs do? Are purple orbs bad? Should I not pick up purple orbs? Nice! Oh no, he blinded me. That's a bit suboptimal. Well, let's swap you out then, since you're blinded. Oh, everyone shares the blinded. That doesn't matter, because you're a mage. You have no offensive mage abilities. Well, heal. Let's swap you back out for Tuzan. You have to be evil if you name your kid Myrtle. I don't know, I kind of like Myrtle. What's he doing? He's attacking. Nice! So far this fight's gone really well. But, you know. Right as I say that, he starts doing that crap. I can't defend. I didn't need to defend. 
He's just spitting stuff at me. We really need to get that uh, thing that increases the amount of orb drops in fights. Hello! Evade! Ah, nice. I actually timed that properly. Does that mean it'll miss? Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Also, I think healing tier is more effective than heal. So it only costs 4 MP. Maybe we can get you out? Good lord, camera. Unless he attacks me. Now he's just kind of gurring at me. Holy crap, that damage. I think you're viable use of anything, quite frankly. Stop doing your running around thing, please. Nice! Okay, yes, those hurt quite a lot, actually. <laughs> Don't pick up the purple orbs, they hurt! This boss fight's still going pretty well. Nice! Get out of there. I do need to heal, though. Is he attacking me? Ah, he's doing that. It doesn't matter. What would he be weak to? Fire or frost? Probably neither. We'll use one. That didn't really do very much. Well, ice is better, but I think that's just because it costs more mana. Don't you have any more tricks up your sleeve, dude? Jeez. Look, my magical cape of magic has defended me. That counter. I missed. Nope, 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 nope. Nope all over that. Why you know constantly use monster dude? Who, Tuzan? Because there's a stamina bar. Once the stamina bar runs out, he can't fight, so I have to swap him out and let the stamina regen. Nice! Let's bring you out. To do god knows what, I don't know, run around, be blinded for a second. You don't need to be able to see the heal, apparently. I think if you got really good with timing... You could use this familiar to your advantage and use it to just straight up dodge attacks. That camera. Sir! I wish to speak with you, sir. Mostly about dying, preferably. Ow. 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 His, it seems like the more you use a specific familiar, the lower their stamina gets in that fight, too. Oh, here we go. Can I get it? Yay. Well, oh. I don't think we've actually seen this one yet. Yeah, that's a lot of damage, too. Can you append your name? Yes, I can. We did it. That was actually not too bad of a boss fight. Why you complain about higher level monsters if you do this well? That fight was honestly easier than most of the random encounters. Primarily because I actually defend in boss fights. Your attack... Ian's magic attack is crazy high. Sorry, we kind of beat the crap out of your husband. I hope you don't sue me.
They're nightmares, you dingle. He needs kindness. Where do we get kindness from? Here? Her? Well, that's convenient. <laughs> I was expecting to actually have to go somewhere, but apparently not. That face. Madam, can I have your heart? Don't mind the glowing green chest that I have. Thank you. Take. I can't voice act. We don't. We don't. We don't do no voice acting around here. The warm, fuzzy gift of generosity. We don't. We don't do that voice acting thing. Do I have to actually talk to him. I'm working on it. You gotta do things and whatnot. I'm sure are accepting of this magic. Yeah. They don't know what it is. They don't know what magic is. As it just falls over in the background. Well done. Nyarg. Nerg. Mm. Yeah, if, if only heart replacement surgery was that easy. Did you do something with your hair? Hmm. Excuse me, I'd like to talk about your daughter. If you can voice act Chrono Cross and give every character I come across a different, consistent voice, I could do a few of these. I could! Doesn't mean I'm going to. Spoiler, I'm not going to. <sighs> Oliver! What is it? Well, uh... If my father sees you, he'll... Myrtle! Come with me! I want huh? to marry you! Go outside now! You're not sick anymore. I... I can't, Oliver. Just thinking about going out there gives me goosebumps. Myrtle. Oh. Go on out and play, Myrtle. But... Father... Sweetheart, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened to me. I wasn't there when you were sick. When you needed me, and I was fighting with your mother the whole time. I guess maybe the thing that was keeping you closed up in here. Maybe it was me. Father. You were scared somewhere deep down that if you went away, even for a little while, your mother and I would lose the one thing keeping us together. Why are you wearing a hat? We wouldn't be a family anymore. I'm right, aren't I? That's why you... He's stealing people's hats. Why you were... Something deep inside you wouldn't let you leave the house. <laughs> it's so Father, emotional. I... It's alright, sweetheart. Your mother and I, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Father! <laughs> please, Myrtle. Please forgive me. He's walking oh, out of the do. head. Daddy, I do. You're ruining the scene, Drippy. Huh? No, they're not. So much for you being honest. Uh, Oliver? Hmm? I'm going to try. I'm going to go outside. Uh, will you come with me? Right on. Oh, 
Bye, Pori.